I've been to Dollar Tree many of times and there's so much frozen fruit, I've barely tried any of it. So, I feel like it's my civic duty to find out which frozen food is the best, and the best method to do that is a bracket with my brother Lucas. What frozen food's gonna win? Get out of the way! I'm gonna win! No, I'm gonna win! You have so much sodium, you're disgusting! I taste Jump better! Jump on the roof! Round one. Baker's Best Baked Soft Pretzels. Voss. Creation's Buttermilk Pancakes. Why are we gonna dig a new first? Uh, the pretzel? Yeah, and you, Jacob did mention it, it is sad. With no dipping sauces? I know, this with nacho cheese. Wow, uh, that is, that's a home run. It's so dry. But that's any pretzel. Pretzels have this flavor in them that no other food has. Do you taste that? It reminds me so much about being at the water park and just spending $5 on a pretzel. And this was $1.25, right? Yeah, don't be fooled, guys. Everything at the Dollar Tree is $1.25 And you now. get six. Are you effing kidding me? And then you steal the nacho cheese from 7-Eleven or gas station. I mean, they taste just like the ones at the water park, basically. It's a salt pack included. Do we really need that though? We need to use everything that comes with these items. So you kind of have to lick the pretzel. You yeah, gonna and then dip, dip it? it? Oh, good idea. <laughs> <laughs> that brings it to a new level. Damn. Giddy up, cowboy! <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Does it kind of have the texture of like glue that's been dried on your hand? Kind or just of. like plastic? This needs syrup, but it didn't come in the box, so we can't include it. Still though, it has the sweetness. I think there's like a good sugaryness. These are good. Ego pancakes, 12 count, 319. So it's not like it's ridiculously more expensive, but it is more expensive. And that pancake slapped just as hard as Ego, I know for a fact. But what one? <laughs> These are both so different. Whoever set up this bracket is dumb, AKA me. <laughs> I gotta say I was more wowed by the pancakes, I think. I'm gonna say the same thing too because they lived up to name brand Egos. Mm -hmm. It's so Pancakes. Imperial Garden Lobster Egg Roll. Voss. Imperial Garden Shrimp Egg Roll. I am really surprised that they have a lobster egg roll at Dollar Tree. Is there even a lobster egg roll at Target or Walmart? <laughs> yeah, lobster is bougie. Like something you get at a fancy ass restaurant and now you can just get it at Dollar Tree? Are you kidding me? Come on now. It comes with a little sauce packet. So what one should we try first? We should try shrimp so we don't blow our load first. It's not very crunchy, it's very soggy, but that's okay. You can see carrots and stuff in there, so. I don't even smell shrimp. I smell a little bit. <laughs> I taste shrimp, but I don't see shrimp. I mean, it's honestly really good. <laughs> I know, I was just gonna say the same thing, like it's not bad. The texture is bad. One of the first ingredients out of the 500 ingredients is shrimp. You gotta believe them. Crab. Girl, it's gotta have, oh, lobster meat. It's like really far down the list, but it is there. So I don't know if they just get the leftovers from red lobster and shove it in the factory or what, but. I don't even really know what lobster tastes like, to be completely honest. I mean, it just so. tastes like shrimp, I think. Tastes like lobster. <laughs> it's not even bad. I know this honestly is good. If I got it from a restaurant, obviously I'd be grossed out because they'd be like, why is it so soggy? But like, if you get over the sogginess, it's good. If we cook this in the air fryer, you could go to Red Lobster and solve this as an appetizer and no one's gonna mention it. We might have to deduct points though because it does say extra crispy in the advertising. And it's a bit, this isn't, there's no crisp. Oh I'm going towards shrimp just because it had more flavor. Yeah, I got, the shrimp was better. Solved. Golden Crust Jamaican Style Chicken Patty. Voss. Golden Crust Jamaican Style Jerk Chicken Patty. What is jerk chicken, by the way? Not sure. Hey, Bob. What is jerk chicken? Jerk is a style of cooking native to Jamaica, in which meat is dry rubbed or wet marinated with a hot spice mixture called Jamaican jerk spice. All right. It makes sense because these are both Jamaican style. What's your Travis jerk? Yeah, that's right. It's falling apart. It's like, I don't really like flaky stuff because it reminds me of dry food. That's gross. Mmm, that actually is like kind of spicy. Mmm. I don't know if this is just because it has jerk in the name, but it tastes like beef jerky to me. It does. Damn, like that dipped in ranch and stuff. <laughs> that would be. 
That's slam. Never really had something like that, but definitely was good. Let's just rip it in. Ooh, oh, the chicken is like yellow. I know, this chicken was brown, but okay. Mmm, it's more of like a cheese type of vibe. This Indian food, I kind of taste like it. Yeah, I'm getting some curry. These are the Dollar Tree ones and they're like pretty good. I want to try actual um Jamaican style chicken patties turnovers because like those are probably like way better than this, you know? I know, and this honestly already is pretty good though. I think normal chicken one, just because it's more tame, whereas the jerky one had more flavors that I wasn't used to, so it was kind of like, I'm not 100% on this, but this one I was like, spicy, good, I love it. I know, they both slams, but yeah, I would go with the regular chicken. Okay, nice that we agree. Golden crust Jamaican style spicy beef patty. Voss. Fast Bites Cheeseburger. Oh my god, the cheeseburger literally has a novel of ingredients. The times I'm in the Dollar Tree, I've always wanted to try this. No, I'm not joking. That's why like, I, I am in this phase where it's like, if heaven is real and I arrived to, I feel like this is how I would feel. Like, I, know. I just like don't want to touch anything because I don't know if it's going to be gone when I touch it. You know? I know, like, I'm scared you're going to eat it all. And I do love how you cook it in the plastic. I know, just like put the plastic in the food. And I don't find it that crazy because a McDonald's cheeseburger is like a dollar fifty, so. Oh, that's true. So it's not that too. Wait, what's on it? Oh, look at that steam. Just cheese in a burger. What? <laughs> Why is it good? <laughs> The fact that you microwave this in 90 seconds and it's a dollar. And the fact that it actually, <laughs> I'm just gonna say it guys, tastes like any fast food bulgur. You could say the bun is weird, cause like it was frozen, but like it's pretty much fine. I was not expecting this. This is actually like so good. <laughs> like obviously I wouldn't picture this on like a restaurant, but yeah, like a shitty like um water park concession stand. And yes, if you look at the meat and tear it apart, it does kind of tear apart more ease. Uh, I mean, I'm not a meat expert, but it does look kind of like a uh, spongy. Yeah, the meat is like, it is a little weird if you actually get down to it. Um, it's kind of like meat that they give to people in a nursing home. Cheers. Cheers. It tastes like the beef inside of a frozen burrito. I just keep picturing like if I actually got this, I would dip it in so much ranch. Like it would bring it to a whole nother level. Question though, why is the the biscuit or whatever yellow? I just realized that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> why is it? Is I was it, actually thinking of the other ones. Is this like a salt and type of bread or do they just put yellow food coloring to make it more interesting? I don't know, but I do like the design choice. This honestly is so good too. <laughs> That's what I was thinking, like it's so good, but I have to vote for the cheeseburger because mm. I just wasn't expecting it to be that good. This beef turnover thing, I would definitely eat it still. Yeah, the cheeseburger, that's a classic that you would continue to go back to. So it wins? Yeah. Fast Bites Breaded Chicken Sandwich. Voss. Fast Bites Spicy Chicken Sandwich. This is like back when um, Popeyes came out with their spicy chicken sandwich and it was the Chicken Sandwich Wars. That actually, I, mean, I actually remember seeing a headline called the Chicken Sandwich Wars. This is the new Chicken Sandwich Wars I though. know. So spicy versus normal. Mm. Technically we don't even have to try them because they're gonna taste the same and we already know which one would win. The spicy, because we like spicy stuff. Yeah, but let's still try it. They put sesame seeds on it. <laughs> I love their Cheers. name. Fast Bites. <laughs> <laughs> I just got brought back to school lunch. <laughs> Usually with these spicy chicken sandwiches, they put some black pepper on it and stuff. But this one's different, and it's different in a way that I don't like. You know when our dad grew those, grew those pupples and made hot sauce? I think those were habanero pupples, and his hot sauce doesn't taste like good. His hot sauce is good, if you're watching. We don't want to offend anyone. But his hot sauce isn't a hot sauce that I would gravitate towards because it's made with ha habaneros and that's this is the same with this. It's made with habaneros type shit. Let me see. I'm not gravitating towards it. This tastes very, very frozen. Because remember growing up, I'm eating the chicken patties in the fridge? <laughs> yeah. This tastes just like that. If we're rating cheap food and make chicken is way better. It's like Jesus Christ. And it's the same price. Is it still frozen? Oh no, it just says white stuff. <laughs> it's just like white mold that's been growing for a few months. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Cheers. This one's better to me. I know. How is it better? It has to be with what I said earlier. That one has this weird habanero thing going on. Like it's, it's so salty. Yeah, like it still isn't good. I'm gonna have to fight for this one a little bit. Let me see, because I kind of feel like I enjoyed this one more. 
one. This one is a little bit better to me. I'll take one more bite, but I'm actually like, I, I actually just knew right away when I tasted that. No, the see. first bite. It's what I said oreo. It isn't hot sauce spice. It's habanero spice, which it isn't is. my type of thing. So you're fully doing um spicy, and I'm fully doing normal or like strong pepper scissor. Um, arm wrestle. <laughs> Actually, I did arms today though. Uh, yeah, chicken wins. They're both chicken. <laughs> Regular chicken. Eat Asian style beef and broccoli. Voss. Eat Asian style chicken lo mein. Mmm. I was thinking the same exact thing. I also love enough to provide your plate. Mmm, yes. They could take it one step forward and have a little plastic fork on here, though. Wait, how much would this cost to make? If it's a dollar twenty-five, <laughs> is this like five cents to make? <laughs> like cigarettes. <laughs> mm, but good cigarettes. I can kind of tell I'm not gonna like this. This but... is the healthiest one, though. A little bit of blackberry. I know. I know. I was actually had high hopes, but now I don't. Besides Trader Joe's orange chicken, I don't really like frozen, frozen Asian chicken. food. Yeah. <laughs> It's this one flavor when mom used to make homemade Asian food. It's so gross to me. It's like, this isn't how it tastes if you eat it in real life. I know I'm the most like trashy person ever like right now. Like some of you guys probably think that, but like I actually think it's good. I don't like that. I, I remember, I, cause do you like when whenever mom made Asian food growing up? I always hated it. Here's the thing is that I like both. I like that. But then I also like going to an Asian like restaurant where like the meals are more well put together. Yeah, that one to me is just actually, actually gross. You hated it. I know, I'm actually a hater with that one. But do you just hate like the memories of when you were No, kid, just the taste. Like... There's some taste that's in frozen Asian food that isn't in actual Asian food. This one better beat that one. Oh, they're both just gonna be shitty. <laughs> this is so frozen. <laughs> <laughs> Sis, like, this is actually the most unappetizing shit ever. I know. Like, I picture this is what prison food is. Oh, be yeah. Mind. I'm just gonna try a piece of chicken. Oh, I'll try one too. Cheers. <laughs> it's not so bad. This one's gonna be butter. Mm, I think I, I don't think this one has the taste I was talking about. Yeah, this one has more of like an elegant taste. I know, fancy. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Bitch, why do I spill everywhere? It's still gross to me, but it's at least better than that other beef one. This one doesn't, <laughs> what? They're just so gross. It's so weird because like this is one of those things where like I genuinely don't find it like, I don't find it gross. Oh my God, I don't know what, there's just one taste. I, mean, I wouldn't be able to explain it if I tried because it doesn't, it's just this one taste that I only ever experience in this type of, in frozen Asian food. And I hate it. But I actually agree with you that chicken lo mein was better than beef oh, and Oh yeah. P.D. Brothers Cheese Ravioli. Voss. Snaps Mozzarella Sticks. Are we at the Olive Garden? It looks like it. <laughs> cheese, cheese, cheese. That's the theme. Well, this is an appetizer, so eat this first. Yeah. You can't really mess up a, um, a mozzarella stick. And we did put these in the air fryer, so like, is there gonna be a cheese pull? Oh. You actually have one. Let me get a better one. Oh. Why do you not have any look? That cheese is a mozzarella stick cheese. Did you notice that that cheese is more shitty? It feels like Play-Doh cheese. Yeah, because usually whenever I eat mozzarella sticks, I feel like I'm gonna choke. Cause like, you know, the cheese is usually thick and heavy. I love ravioli, so. <gasps> this is like high class. Spinach in the middle, like some orb. I thought this was gonna be a little cheddar chunk in the middle, but this is like high class ricotta. I don't even know if it is, but that looks like, doesn't that seem like what ricotta would be? It is ricotta. This is so much better than the mozzarella sticks. I'm not kidding, if I'm just someone's house and they have this with a little bit of tomato sauce, I'd be like, this is fancy. <laughs> I've had other store bought ravioli and I'm pretty sure it tastes the same. The ravioli one. Yeah, ravioli. The mozzarella nice. sticks could have had a chance, but the cheese was too, mm. um, like the, the texture of semen, which yeah. is like kind of the vibe for me at least. Snaps loaded potato sticks. Voss. Snaps mac and cheese bites. I gotta say, like I was excited to eat these mac and cheese balls and stuff, but seeing them in person, like it looks like kind of gross, but I'm, I feel like it'll be good. Well, from my experience with mac and cheese balls, I've had many. I know, but everyone's best, trying to get on them. Yeah, the best ones are the Cheesecake Factory ones. Oh and, yeah. Cause I was at this um, bow and grill this weekend with our dad and this is what the mac and cheese balls were. And I was like, so small, puny. They probably actually got them from Dollar Tree, I bet you. Honestly, cheers. These could be the ones they sold. <laughs> it's like very much like Kraft macaroni in the middle. <laughs> if you're planning on starting a mac and cheese ball company, here's what you need to know. It's obvious, but people aren't aware of it, obviously. A mac and cheese ball shouldn't taste like a mozzarella stick. Yeah. It should be something that's original and actually be tasting like mac and cheese. 
How does this look like a mozzarella stick? Also, I know this isn't what it's about, but the look of it is very gross to me. I don't like how it's a light breading. I want a dark breading, a crisp, but it's like- It reminds me of poop. Is this a chicken nugget? It's just gross. Anyway, let's move on to the loaded. What's even in this? Shadow cheese, sour cream, crispy bacon. Wait, it shows the side of, of um sauce. Where's the sauce? Nowhere. Oh, okay, so false advertising. Cheers. Cheers. That's kind of giving something different. <laughs> <laughs> like, this would be a good breakfast before school. This is good. It feels like you're at brunch. <laughs> it's giving you breakfast energy though, right? Yeah, with the bacon and the potato. I actually enjoyed that. I enjoyed it too, but <clears throat> my overwhelming thought while eating it was, this is so shitty. <laughs> I don't know what it was about that, but something reminded me of such shitty food. <laughs> I still, I think this is what you're thinking, and I still think the loaded potato. Okay, but I just have to know if um you have you feel this with this taste, because this taste in my mouth, I've thought this before and I've had it. It always reminds me of Pabela's. Like it reminds me of a dad cooking. <laughs> I don't want to know Isn't why. That bacon? I don't know. Maybe that is why, because like, maybe I associate bacon with like our dad or something, but it always reminds me of like Cabela's people. I, I don't mean, know why though. It reminded me of this is so specific, but a Burger King breakfast sandwich. So I've had that like mm, years ago. It does taste like that. Yeah, like you said, it wins, obviously. Yeah. Chef Ernesto French Toast Sticks. Voss. Jennifer's Garden Traditional Vegetable Spring Rolls. So who made this round because these don't match? <laughs> well, it gets to a point where like everything can't match. Like some oh. people get divorced and some people don't. Oh, I'm... Okay, I'm excited to get some vegetables. Okay, let's get some veggies in. Cheers. Wait. Ew, what? You don't taste it. What is it? You know when you go to the gas station and you wipe your windshields with those things that are free? Yeah. It tastes like the it tastes like cleaning products. <laughs> you eat and cleaning products? <laughs> <laughs> no. I was actually liking it before you said that. No, it act like I'm I'm not even joking to be comedy funny. I can get what you mean now. It does taste like um gas station cleaner. That's weird. It isn't a bad taste though really, but like something in there does give that vibe. I honestly would be down to eat the whole thing, but I just it, once I said that, it ruined everything. Yeah, it tastes like bright blue liquid cleaner. Oh, I have high hopes for these. They look very like breakable. Huh? This must be where they get all the food for um, like hotel breakfast. For sure. Why is it so hard? Tastes like a funnel cake. And the, what the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? There's like a little piece of. <gasps> Ew! Yeah, no, we, we need to find out what that is. Some tampon string. <laughs> There's this little string on this, guys. And like, what? <laughs> I mean, I'm not that grossed out because like it's not gonna do anything, but like, it's not hair. <laughs> the grossest thing to me is that <laughs> before you said it, I noticed it and I didn't think anything. <laughs> That's just gross. Like, how come my mind I saw it, I thought, oh, that's fine. But then once you went out, I said, like, ew, my God. Like, once you actually brought it to my the reality, I was like, oh my God. No, because, no, because it looks plastic. <laughs> no, something in the factory just fell in. It's fine. Can I have a bite? Yeah, it's actually mine. Moist. I mean, it's actually pretty good. And so, even though <laughs> I was so, like, Triggled or whatever by the French toast, I still think it won. Oh, yeah, at least it isn't um, cleaning supplies. I actually might give this round, though, the worst round of the whole <laughs> no. game so far. French toast. Rising Tide Wild Cat Cock Fingers. Voss. Imperial Garden Pork Egg Roll. We have another one of these egg rolls. Oh! I was kind of sad thinking, like, wait, we're done with those forever? I oh, know. Yeah. There's still some more egg rolls left for us to enjoy. Mm. It's better than the other egg rolls. I like how it isn't fish. <laughs> I was just about to say, why does it still taste fishy? And smell it. It smells Ew! fishy. Do they make them all like in the same bowl? It actually does have a fish smell. It's disgusting. Yeah, I've had many fr frozen pork egg rolls. This <laughs> one isn't. This one isn't cutting it. Oh my god. But now we're gonna have some genuinely fishy stuff. Mm, okay, so this only came with two pieces of cod. So that kind of makes me think that this is real. It's more high quality. Because why couldn't they give us more? Yeah. Like, let's look at the ingredients. Yeah, the first ingredient. Cod. C-O-D, cod. I don't know why I'm grossed out by this, but I'm gonna eat it. <laughs> I'll just split this one. Cheers. <laughs> Down in the river. Mm. 
Mm. That's a good fish stick. You know, usually frozen stuff, like the fish is all one goo. This actually had like the little rivets that real fish has. Yeah, and um, this sounds funny, but it tastes more real than a usual fish stick. I know, so like this is actually is high quality. But with that being said, I don't like it. You can actually just like taste like the ocean or something and I don't like it. I liked it better than the pork roll though, that tastes like fish. Same with me, like this, this round is also a really flap around, but <sighs> the, the cod won. It won. Chef Ernesto Veggie Burgers. Vos. Extra value beef patties. Why does it look like that? <laughs> that looks like a real veggie patty, like carrots. Uh, broccoli, green beans. I think I like veggie patties more when they look like a burger. Like they're so processed that they just make it look like a burger. This burger, you get you get two patties for 125. This is what it looks like raw. And like, again, I'm not a meat expert, but it looks good. I mean, it just looks like a burger. Why did I touch that? No, oh, you're salmonella. I did season this with salt and pepper because it's voicing something that's processed. So I want it to be equal. First of all, it is like more of a gummy. It's more gummy than a mo normal cheeseburger. Cheers. Ew! <laughs> it actually tastes good. The texture is what's off, but the taste is good. You said that geniusly, nursing home. Yeah, it's just like the other cheeseburger we had. But we were all optimistic with that. Like, oh my, we love it. Mm. This is the exact same thing. Maybe I'm grossed out by just eating a patty on its own. That could very well be the case. <sighs> I never Vegetable had a veggie one. burger where you can just like see the carrots blatantly. I know, like, this is the thing, guys. Feels like a veggie burger. You get some like fancy Gwyneth Paltrow <laughs> vegan restaurant. I know, you can see it all. Look at those green beans. And it's from the same brand. Juniper's Garden? No, it's not. Oh, it has the same taste. cleaning fluid. Why does it taste like cleaning fluid? Like, I'm actually a pout. Is there something about vegetables? <laughs> I like vegetables, but the other one's a vegetable spring roll. They both are disgusting, if we're being honest. But the burger is, the, I think the burger showing is actually is a pretty good burger for a dollar. <laughs> exactly. They're both burgers. We need to be more specific. The beef, the beef burger. burger. Snaps cream cheese pepper bites. Voss. Fast bites grilled chicken sandwich. I do love how we're going back to the fast bites place. I know like, these were <laughs> they were a high point. Yeah, like it brings me back to like when I was in love. I know. Cause then like I... one on death, but now you know. But then I see how it says made with red meat. Like that just grosses me out. But oh, let's not talk about that. This All is the, the reality. Yeah, it's out. Fucked up. Oh, this is the healthy one. Oh, grilled. That is some shrinkflation. Like in my opinion, this should be considered a mini burger. <laughs> they should not be able to say grilled chicken sandwich. It should be mini grilled chicken sandwich. It's actually pretty good to me, and I'm not even like I don't know what happened with this one. Cause like the bread is so hard, like did you put it in too long? No, like it just reminds me of like a Johnny Craig delicious. <sighs> I don't know, I wasn't feeling that long. But it isn't horrible. Cream cheese! What was that? That reason that reminded me so much of like this funny thing. Like it was funny as f to me. Just <laughs> cream cheese. Mm. I know I would like this if this is the beginning of the video. It is like any other cream cheese. Pepper bite. Mm, this is good. <laughs> but that being said, I, I vote for this. What do you vote for? I vote for the chicken sandwich because that was something that like is would be Jenny Craig approved. Who, who can take the twist for the longest? Okay. Okay, so we both do it at the same time. Well, I was gonna, I'm gonna win. I'm gonna spin it on my shoulder and then I'll do yours. Okay, but don't give up right away. All right, then we have to do it to this part. This is actual skin. Ready, set, go. <laughs> Are you done? Are you done? <laughs> yeah, yes. <laughs> but you weren't even doing much. <laughs> oh, You're trying to be like a good person. You didn't even hurt me. You lost. Cream cheese. Ground to Creations buttermilk pancakes. Voss. Imperial Garden shrimp egg roll. This is so easy for me. The pancakes, obviously, right? Yeah. I mean, I don't need to try either of them. The pancakes were delicious, and the shrimp egg roll is just like. <coughs> It's just dumb. Pancakes, move on. Fast Bright's breaded chicken sandwich. Voss. PD Brothers cheese ravioli. I think I might have to do just like a little bite, you know? Oh, okay. Yeah, because I, rem I actually remember the ravioli because that was pretty recent. It is cold, but. Oh! <laughs> Something stuck in my throat, like a piece of pepper. Should I hold and get water? No. Mm -hmm. This is better because that tastes, like I said before, it's. 
very frozen, but you don't, you like it? Right after I took a bite, I was thinking the same exact thing. Up to par with shitty frozen food. Mm -hmm. But this one's giving a more elegant shitty, y'all. Country club. Yeah. Oh. Golden crust Jamaican style chicken patty. Voss. Fast bites cheese burger. At this point, see, <laughs> this makes me want to throw up. I'm not kidding. No, it's not the food. It's, it's like it's the must that we create. Ew. Just from memory, like we were so obsessed with the cheeseburger. The chicken was good, but I think it might have to do with I've had a cheeseburger more times than a Jamaican style chicken patty. So is that me being biased right now? But then again, this is all about our bias, our opinion. So we enjoyed the cheeseburger more. So the cheeseburger wins then. Yeah. Eat Asian style chicken lo mein. Voss. Snaps loaded potato sticks. Let <laughs> me <I> smell. <laughs> No, I, that one's so gross. I, I, I already expressed my hatred. Let me have one more bite to see. <laughs> <laughs> so, you vote with the potatoes. Oh yeah, I loved them. Just so I'm being completely clear and not passive aggressive, I would vote for the chicken lo mein if I was by myself. But I don't even want to fight over this because I actually get what you're saying. And like, I and I think the majority of people would be on your side. And also I utterly hated this. Like yeah. usually like we were kind of like in a murky ground where we kind of both liked both. You know what I mean? But, but I actually like, despised this. Yeah, you, you were like actually like almost went on antidepressants because yeah, of like that. despicable. Extra value beef patties. Voss. Chef Ornesto French toast sticks. No, it is crazy guys. I know there was a weird string. Like, <laughs> let me just hold it by it. Okay, but I still like I'm leaning towards this one because I just don't think two cheeseburgers should go to the next round. I wasn't even thinking about like the two cheeseburgers going to the next round. I was just thinking like, if we're going by taste, the French toast is butter and the burger. Yeah. I mean, it's a below average burger where these French, to French toast sticks are an average <laughs> French toast stick. This is better. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. I thought you were gonna say the burger. But I was well. gonna say like the cheeseburger, like it is, it was good, but there already is a cheeseburger. I just smell it. It smells like a dino in Ew. the middle of Nebraska, in the middle of nowhere, and like, it's like 500 year old meat. Rising Tide Wild Cat Cock Fingers. Voss. Snaps Cream Cheese Purple Bites. Fish Voss an appetizer, basically. <laughs> there, this one's hard because I hated them both. <laughs> My opinion is blank, and if I say anything, I'm forcing it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I honestly don't know. Like, I'm leaning towards the cream cheese. Yeah, because also you only get two sticks. That's a kind of a ripoff if we're being honest. A dollar twenty-five in one forty is... calories. That's like nothing. The cream cheese ones. Yeah, and cream plus, cheese. Plus, I thought these tasted like too fishy. Yeah, it was too real. Round three. Creations buttermilk pancakes. Voss. PD Brothers cheese ravioli. I'm thinking this, because I like how it's just unoffensive, it's its own thing. Like, this is good, but I almost like this might be better. I, I don't know. Honestly, these are both A+. We're getting to the point where all of these are movie stars. Yeah. Now that I think about it, it is pretty obvious. Yeah, these were, they were very good, very great. Because I can think of a few cons of this, but I actually can't think of one con. Yeah, this is like alien skin vibes. You know what I mean? It's like the alien skin texture. But this, it's like, it's like oh, oh cool. like, honestly, I can't think of anything bad of you, and the only way I would think of something bad of you is if I really had a bad day and was jealous of you, but I'm not jealous of you. Fast Bites Cheeseburger. Voss. Snaps Loaded Potato Sticks. This is the potato stick, by the way, so if no one's confused. Now, you didn't even like the potato stick, so obviously this is automatic lose. <laughs> I actually knew from the very beginning why I didn't like this. I'm not a fan of this artificial bacon. In fact, bacon is overused. So I am gonna vote for the cheeseburger, but if you don't actually think the cheeseburger is the best option, we can fight over it. Right away when these sat down, I knew it was a cheeseburger. Okay. No fighting involved. Well, but you know, people are like, oh my God. <laughs> Chef Ornesto French Toast Sticks. Voss. Snaps Cream Cheese Purple Bites. At this point, it feels like I'm working at Applebee's picking up people's plates. <laughs> Okay. okay. This is actually hard, because again, I think this might still advance. I want to be known that I genuinely like the French toast sticks. It just, that was just a mishap. And the cream cheese things, they weren't even that good at all. 
Yeah, Fudge Toast wins. Okay. Round four. Creations Buttermilk Pancakes. Voss. Fast Bites Cheese Burger. Voss. Chef Ernesto French Toast Sticks. I've only done one of the bracket video, and this is the first, this is the first time it's happened or we're voicing three right now. Oh yeah, this is in it. It's something that hasn't really been done before. I didn't, I guess I didn't plan it out right. Okay, I think what would be easiest is eliminating what one we think should go out. You right, this one? Oh my gosh, I, I was actually in the same wavelength. Like, I was just like, let's just eliminate the French toast because although it's good, we have to, we can't just pretend this didn't happen. I know, like, that can't win when you have a tampon. <laughs> I know, like, why is this even making it to this round? Like, you watch the most disgusting people. How did this make it to the final round, in all honesty? Now this is where it gets tough. Should we each take a bite so we actually know? <laughs> it's so cold. Yeah, it's... Are you even allowed to eat something that's sat out this long? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> this is one of those things where like some McDonald's person put this in their closet for 20 years and it didn't get mold. If you put this in your closet for 20 years, that wouldn't get mold. <laughs> this bun is the most black hard shit. <laughs> this doesn't age well. I'm also gonna eat one cold pancake. Oh yeah, they probably are thawed by now. Mm. These are so good. It's so hard though. <laughs> for the last minute or two, I already had to have an answer in my head. What? How about both, <laughs> both of us say who we think won on the counter thing? Okay. Three, two, one. Pancakes. Pancakes. I mean, it actually is kind of cute how this is the first time we tried. Sometimes the first person you date, you end up marrying. Yeah. After like, you F literally mm. the whole town, you realize that first person I banged was pretty cute. And with that, War dashing out. Bye. Bye! And I'm pulsating because there's so many preservatives in my body. Whoa! Whoa!